I'm Monica Hernandez and I am a adjunct professor of Chicana and Chicano Studies here at City College and also at Grossmont College. Um, I was born and raised here in San Diego, in Lemon Grove in particular, and I am a fourth generation Chicana, which is definitely a unique experience. And um, I went to Catholic school from preschool all the way to 12th grade. From there I went to community college, I went to Grosswans, and then transferred to UCLA. At UCLA I double majored in Chicana Chicano Studies and History, and then I double minored in Latin American Studies and Women's Studies. And from there I got my master's degree at Cal State Northridge in Chicana and Chicano Studies. My students inspire me every single day. Um, I gain a lot of inspiration from really my students because of how you all hold it down, juggling families and work and um, I guess the institution that is education. Um, I'm inspired a lot by my tia who struggled a lot being an affirmative action baby is what I call her but um, you know somebody who was a woman of color in an institution that was very white for um, her side of employment, that is until she retired. Um, but seeing her navigate that really inspired me too because we really are on the shoulders of those who have come before us. Um, so I gained a lot of inspiration from her, from my grandparents who struggled a lot to get us to where we are. Professor of Chicano and Chicano Studies, which I think is a really important role given that this is an area of study that is constantly under attack by the institution. Um, the credibility of programs like Chicano Chicano Studies, Black Studies, Asian Studies, any area of studies really is always questioned. And if anything, I think these area of studies provide a lot more knowledge and education that is useful in life. So I teach these courses, which I love. I teach La Chicana and I teach U.S. history from a Chicano Chicano perspective. And I'm also a Puente co-coordinator, not here at City College, but at Grossmont College, which that is really important because Grossmont College has historically been white, middle-class, suburban institution. Um, and they've magically realized that there's Latinos on their campus. So they're really pumping funds and time and energy into building these programs that really help the students that are there. I want to get my doctorate degree. That is a goal of mine to pursue, whether it happens now or later. Um, but for me, I just I think knowing the Chicano educational pipeline, knowing that there are not a lot of us who are encouraged to make it through the entire pipeline and get doctorate degrees, that inspires me big time to want to pursue it. And also my personal research, I'm really challenging the constructs of beauty and um, power that is associated with beauty and how beauty has become normalized and standardized, um, that definitely is something that I want to continue to develop in my educational endeavors. For me, on a professional level, being a, a professor, um, here at City, I just want to continue teaching these courses, hopefully get more full-time faculty in the department, um, grow the department too with the number of students that we have. Um, that's certainly the case for me at Grossmont College, is we don't even have a department, so even establishing a department there that um, ex expands the curriculum, expands the courses, and um, I think with all of my courses that I teach, I just want my students to leave the classroom as stronger individuals than they did when they came in, um, to go through the healing process, to really see themselves as the incredible people that they are, that, they, that they've always been, but we have forgotten that because we've been taught not to look at those things.